and she's in that left side alpha role yes. paired up with Yudit Castillo, who plays a great, consistent right side, quality one-handed punch on the backhand side for Yudit. So I think this team pairs well together. And there's just a rope of a tui for a winner with that verse six paddle of hers. Yeah, and I think with, with Alex Strong transitioning forward, I think Yudit needs to come over yes. and help her there in the middle. And Alex can help you to yes. just the same. That's right. I think we'll see Lane play most of this match on the left, so they will likely switch, and they will. Nice leave. Yeah, so you have all crazy athletes on the far side who have huge tennis chops. Obviously, Wimbledon finalist for Jeannie, but some very good tennis in college for Lane at both Florida and Oklahoma. Yeah, NCAA runner-up yes. in singles. Yes. So, I mean, yeah, okay, that's, okay. That's no joke right there. One, one, two. And Jeannie loves to slide to the right, so Lane is going to have to cover a lot of court. So we'll see if Alex notices that. It is a gaping opportunity for her to move these dinks around. I just missed, and you're exactly right. So. Uh, Sleeth has the athleticism to fill that gap, but as soon as Jeannie Bouchard senses an attack coming, she is fading. Sails deep there, and you can see Bouchard trying to figure out her court positioning, and we'll keep an eye on that throughout. It's already better than the last time I saw, oh. and, and also just the shot selection from that mid-court area, where you're just going to find yourself at a pretty decent clip in pickleball. That's part of the deal, especially the way the women play. I mean, you are going to, you gotta, you gotta be able to beat good teams from that spot. I think that caught. It, it did. And a slight, I think it was a slight miss hit from Alex Strong. Pretty decent uh, two-handed speed up out of the air from Jeannie Bouchard. Show the world where you're going early. The players are smart. So off speed, five hole on the oh Canadian. Yeah, good stuff from Alex. Samche Moy, Don Stanley, oh Tony Jaden looking to call some more <laughs> faults on a serve. It's not his call in this one. Nice move from Alex Trong. Oh and they are rolling. First volley, yes. unwinding the stack from Eugenia Bouchard and ball back over, see if they can cut into this four point lead. She has some interesting technique, especially with the high-level tennis background. She really chops and yes. cuts at some of those shots on the forehand and backhand side, going with backspin. And coaching can be hard, Jaume. We know. <laughs> yes, we do. Just taking it all in over there from, uh, from the coach's box. Judith can't get there, nobody can. Yeah, one of the best movers we have on tour. But like, really, kudos to Jaume, because you know that's that's a tough hit to take in the round of 32 yes. in men's doubles. 
Uh, it'd be easy to go sit in a corner somewhere and let it stew for a while. A little extra pace on that last put away. So uh, Bouchard and Sleeth recently played Yudit and Eva Radzikovska, okay. and that did not go well, 11-1, 11-3. So Yudit is bringing a lot of confidence from that match in here, obviously different partner. Yeah, nice control of the kitchen line, and Alex Strong, one of the later picks in the premier division yes. for MLP, and Yudit Castillo, one of the better women in the challenger division, so they can certainly play. Oh dear. Oh dear on both sides in the <laughs> middle. It was just the second one landed and didn't get touched. That one will, will have you did. She, I was like, where, where are you going, you <laughs> It's happening. It's sitting right there. That's another ball. Where's Sleeth? I mean, that's begging for the left side player yeah, to when, demolish it. When, when it's floating up yes. there like that with a soft shot from the back of the court, that is a lot of time for Sleeth to step over and do something with the forehand. A very nice counter from Jeannie Bouchard. Didn't have to fade on that particular shot because the ball was coming from all the way out wide from Alex Trong. Sleeth's pushing the envelope on her service contact point, and that hits off the back fence for a double for Trunk. She'll slide into second easily. <laughs> yeah, some serious backspin on that overhead. Yeah, that's it's it's not terribly low to high from Lane Sleeth. She's coming. She's coming around the ball. So I, I agree completely, partner. She is pushing the envelope. Oh, Yuta tries inside out, but slides it wide. And the lead is three. You see Bouchard from the tennis background just demolished two in backhands in that tennis career, and there's a good look at another one. See, I'm okay with the slide if Lean comes over with it, because she would have gotten an absolute put away there, but she's late and going backwards, and that's no place to live. Yeah, in those situations, the ball's coming back to the middle at a very high percentage of the time. So Sleeth has less responsibility on her backside, so she needs to fill in that spot. Couple missed returns. They're looking over at Coach Jaume, and Coach Jaume has said, hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it's it's similar, but it's different, Dave, and that's what makes it so awesome, this sport of pickleball. Nice pressure from Udit. Yes. late getting to her spot is Jeannie Bouchard. I mean, hit that return and take off to where you need to be. No hesitation. Yeah, I used to coach some clinics and camps with Simone Jargim, and that would be her first tip. Return and run. Yes. <laughs> Just return <Yep>. and run. <laughs> the starter's pistol has sounded. Uh, a transitioning volley there uh, from uh, Alex Trong sails deep. Similar situation uh, to that Jeannie Bouchard mistake into the net moments ago. Point. 
I, I dare Alex to find the forehand counter of Jeannie Bouchard. It's not available. It's, 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 it does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> she will be in the stands before she hits a, before she hits a forehand. Oh, little cobra out of you, a little Spanish cobra. I love it. Wave it, Miss Castillo. That was nice. And also, early in that point, that says a lot about Jeannie. She had a roll third shot drop and then a feathery yes. soft touch from the midcourt. That. that was not there oh, five or six months ago. reach in from Udit. Yeah, getting. that's that's that experience that's missing. If you put the ball over there, just leave your paddle in the middle, and then she would have gotten a two-handed backhand to destroy. That's a, that's a nice slice first volley, taking off from Alex Trong. Well done, Lane Sleeve. It's just wild that a tennis player is slicing and dicing like that. Like that's from a weird position and it's chopped. Especially that last one. That yes. is a textbook swing yes. volley opportunity. And she's carving. And they're within three, so Castillo and Trung better pay attention and get back to some good fundamentals or this could be a game that's a problem for them. Just gotta fully commit to it. So I, I yeah, I don't mind the move from Lane Sleeth over to the middle, but just, just a little hesitancy from her to step to her right throughout this game one. Yep. Yeah, that's a tough back-to-back -to -back points. Yeah, very short return there that Jeannie didn't take one more step into and then rip that two-handed backhand. Just flubbed it. I could hear that one yes. from the the perch that we're up on, and that was not hit cleanly from Alex Strong. Look at the scamper from Sleeth and from Bouchard. She's there too, wow. Oh, and then that's just mean. That's just mean, Alex. But this is what's impressed me from Lane Sleeth. Her defense since she hit pickleball has been incredible. Yeah, from day one. Yes. I, I remember the first MLP event playing for the Brooklyn Aces in Atlanta, and she gave our team some fits with how many balls she was putting back in play. Chalmay just got a warning in a match he's not even playing in. Oh, that's a nice poke from Udit. So they do indeed get to 11. Nice push back in the middle. Tournaments are a fun and exciting way to grow your game. Connect with other players and stay active in the welcoming pickleball community. Whether you're a seasoned player or looking to try your first tournament, we have a place for you. Lane's just got to go bananas. Yeah, and, and she, was, she was moving with a purpose much more on that last point than we saw in some others yes. in game one. So keep that up, Lane. I'd even love Lane to come take that middle dink right there and wreck it at somebody. So uh, this team has lots of opportunity from where we sit. Wow, what anticipation. But then came in a little out of control after that. Yeah, had a, yeah just kind of a mid-pace swing on that two-handed backhand from an awkward position, but good scramble from Sleeth and Bouchard nonetheless. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I, I think not only from some of the patterns that we've mentioned from Sleeth and Bouchard, I just thought Castillo and Trung played okay yeah. in game one. So I, I do think that there's a lot of opportunity for a pushback here for the 18 seeds. Not if the pushback is a pushback high dink, Adam Stone. Yeah, head high. And so we, we had a progression in the previous <laughs> yes. match. Head high, shoulder high, and then dropped a couple dimes. Let, let's see if that's the progression for Sleeth and Bouchard. Yeah, and you, Yuda gave it right back, Dave, so. She sure did. And, you know, Yuda Castillo, singles, has a title this year, got absolutely demolished demolished by Kate Fahey this morning. So these progressive draws. Love the one-handed flick from Yuta, but just the ability to regroup over time, at least for her, and then come out here and play, because that had to sting. Yeah, there's, it's a pretty extended list of people who have been getting steamrolled by Kate Fahey lately in her early career. She is playing some incredible ball. But yeah, it's, it's similar with Connor Garnett earlier. You, you got to wipe it clean. Uh, you're, you're, you're mixing disciplines, moving from, from singles to mix to gender. You, you better have a fresh start. It's just not available over there. <laughs> she tried to get it to the forehand, but that's, that's out. That's, a, that's, that's what it is. And Jeannie's arms are long enough where you look like she's completely out of position, and she's only slightly out of position. Oh my! So yeah. you, so the ATP not not well advanced yet because uh -huh. she's like, wait, I can do this. Yeah, she she hit that ball about almost <laughs> waist level. You can let that travel a little yes. bit further, Jeannie. Yes. Yeah, great counter from Lane Sleeth. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you were going to say as well, Dave. Just be, I'd love her to just be crazy aggressive in the middle. I mean, what's happened down the line? Nothing. I mean, it's really the, the difference for me is just flat out comfort at the kitchen yes. line. And once the four players get there, you can tell Castillo and Trong have more experience in those patterns. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there a doubles alley that I can't see, Adam? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm looking. I'm, we have as good a vantage point. Yeah, it's padding the stats. Yeah. That, that's what it is. Uh, Udit wanted the clean winner. She there. got it. And again, that, that little that little punch from the from the chest of Udit Castillo is very formidable. serve after the missed shot before it, a carryover. Mm -hmm. Two, two, one. I mean, they're letting them, I mean, Jeannie and Lane, they're begging you to take game two. Yeah, Chris, first volley, swinging variety for you to Castillo. That lob well long from Jeannie. Two, two, two. Just not under control again. Yeah, you have to you have to gather yourself and, and find that center of gravity before some of these shots. I, I mean, I know the split step uh, important part of all of it, but it's just just slightly different in pickle. I mean, you're supposed to get low. They said. I mean, you can't get lower than that. Can't. Not even an option. Good job by Jeannie getting that ball down. I mean, that that cannot happen off that return. Yeah. Um, What's pick, happening yeah, here, pick, Adam? Pick a better spot to go than, than right there to the, the shot that Jeannie wants to hit. I 
it's there. It is there for yes. the taking right now. She has a she has a nice little feathery slice drop yeah. on that forehand. So I like to see her get her team to the kitchen. Lane Sleeve. Yeah, nice crossbody from uh, Alex Strong there. Can't blame Lane Sleeve for looking middle. Perfect spot from Alex. Yeah, especially short return. You see, you actually expect Jeannie to drive that, and she tried to drop it cross court. So, uh, oh boy, what is if we have video on what Judith is doing over here? It's like scaling the video board over there. Like that's extra. Yeah, and Jeannie's looking at her like that's impressive. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's like, a, that's some work like over there. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm putting a new one in. Great punch from Judith again, but these these thirds need to be fixed. Yeah, I, I agree. Three, three, one. Point. It's great eye. And that's one of those things when you have that paddle face open yeah. and it doesn't three, come one. to you right where you want it, that ball can sail on you. Okay, we see the swinger there from Lane Sleeth. So she has it in the arsenal. Uh, I've seen it on both sides a couple different times, forehand and backhand. Let it fly, Lane. Boy, that's just a, that's a tough miss for Alex there because that's popped up right into the wheelhouse. So. We are easing our way through game four. Nobody is taking control. I mean, big, big, I mean, big time opportunities for everybody yes. throughout this game. It has not been the cleanest no. here on, on championship court. So, so take it. Who wants it, baby? hand was halfway up the back of the paddle face. Yeah, so that, that off hand there slid from the grip up to kind of push the back of the paddle. That was an interesting technique. Jeannie keeps returning cross court and just begging to have the ball hit down the line as she's trying to charge over there. Yeah, that's tougher. Uh, it's a little shorter court and high part of the net, but play that ball up the line if you're having trouble getting to your spot. Oh, <laughs> pirouette <laughs> was wonderful, Judith. Then she got tagged. <laughs> <laughs> and no one has a bigger smile than she does after that. That was crazy. Three, five, one. Another drop shot run down, and that one will not be. Yeah, that's, a, that's a couple times sliding on the carpet is oh. Lane Sleeth. She she can come up with some shots from that slide position. I've seen it multiple times in her young career. This court is tough to slide on. Oh. Okay. Why? Why drop it? I mean, just that hasn't just. Yeah. Wreck it. Well, if you're going to get that result and your your opponent and Udick Castillo is going to be a little late on the counter, let a couple fly, Jeannie. Oh, I mean, you. anything can go right now. It's just deep, and we're tied at five. Yeah. Udick's asking if that landed, but her initial reaction told me that yeah. ball was out. Yeah. You kind of know when you didn't hit it yes. just right. Wow. 
That's just wide from Muted as well. And that was almost a paddle violation in the kitchen there. She went so low, but she was behind the line. But don't look now, but Bouchard and Sleeth have the lead. And a timeout is needed on the other side, and they're gonna give a lot of confidence. He doesn't realize he was on TV a lot, though, earlier, yes. actually playing this sport. Uh -huh. There's something about just being up there on camera when you're in the stands, people love it. Uh, that's, a rough, that's a rough third, so the timeout pays dividends. Let's see if the focus and the intensity comes up for Castillo and Trump. I mean, it didn't look like much, but that was pretty impressive from Sleeth to neutralize yes. that roll. She just took one little short step over there and carved that on the backhand side and created the air. Wow, you didn't let Jeannie off the hook there. Judith's also on the left. Yeah, maybe she just knew that was going to happen a couple <laughs> shots later. But yeah, this is the first time that we have seen Judith on the left, and this is sticking. A dig from Jeannie. Wow. Yeah, Judith just pulling off of that shot, almost like she needed to get out of the I kitchen. Know. That ball bounced Judith. I just don't see why you didn't wouldn't just stay in that dink pattern. Right. No, don't don't even uh, attack the middling balls. Oh. Wait for it to be super juicy before you let it fly. I didn't love the first one, but the last one was beautiful. Yeah, she was on number two and number three. Back to Udit on the left. So they're, they're trying to figure this out on the fly. Sometimes it's just kind of rocky, and you just got to get your way to the finish line any way you can. That poke from Sleeth was going well deep. It kind of sums up this game, too. She almost ran into the ball. She, she was pulled out wide was Lane Sleeth, crashing back to the middle and a very awkward swing on that counter attempt. Yeah, we're, we're knotted up at seven. Yes. Thank you. Song Che, keep these ladies in the correct position. That's nice, that's, that's the Castillo doesn't have tons of offense at the kitchen line out of the air, but that thing's nice. Yeah, and commit to it. She, yeah. she saw it and was like, oh, this is offense and fully committed to it. Oh, so they're playing that as in. They're playing that as in, yeah. a little skitter. Okay. I, I'm, you saw more in the I'm, black, I'm, I'm, maybe? I might have seen yeah. a little sliver of black in between yeah. the ball and the line, but doesn't matter now. In the black is very important sentence if you come to Vegas. Got to stop hitting 16 when the dealers got five. <laughs> yeah, and she, and she kind of looked up at Connor Garnett after that miss, and Connor was like, I, don't, I got nothing for oh, you there, Alex. Like, <laughs> everyone at the blackjack table is not happy with you. She, oh, my. She goes right back to it after flubbing that ball, and... I question that decision a little yes. bit too. Ginny Bouchard just couldn't get on top of that counter. Four on that one, 
also the, the snowmen in the 105 degree heat in Vegas continue. Within two of taking this match in a very disjointed fashion. Very nice from Alex Trong, who just hasn't looked comfortable. But she found the forehand there. The just in the nick of time. Just to do. Get your name to go to the right. Here we go. Match point for Castillo and Trong. Oh, no. And that's the way it ends. So, Udit and Alex sneak out the door, but they don't care. They will play tomorrow. And uh, you guys called a timeout. What did you figure out over there to just sort of get to the finish line and move on into this match and into this tournament? Uh, we talked about slowing the game down a little bit, dropping the third, making our way up to the kitchen, and just thinking with them, trying to find the opportunity. I think we were making too many mistakes in transition. So once we cleaned everything up a little bit, then that helped us. Yeah, and on uh, that timeout at the end of game two, Alex, uh, of course, nice playing down there. You were able to get some, some tidbits and a, a little bit of advice uh, from your Utah Black Diamonds teammate and Connor Garnett. What, what did he have uh, to say to you guys to move you along? Yeah, I just, I'm just i playing on that left side, fitting into a new uh, role here. Connor's a great player on the left, so he's telling me kind of utilize the skills that I have um, and just play patient. I'm working on you know my 2 backhand, um, attacking with it, dropping with it, dinking with it, all of the above. So just kind of working our way up there, working um, to trust my partner, and um, yeah, ended up finishing it there. So Alex, I got to ask you about uh, carpool content, you and uh, <laughs> you and Connor Garnett. Uh, <laughs> What a what a fun little thing that is. I know that's important to you. Tell tell the folks what was going on. Are we going to see more of this? Yeah, of course. If you guys like, um, Connor and I drove from Salt Lake City down here to Vegas together in my car. So uh, we did a little ask us anything and answer some of you guys' questions. So we're looking for new content ideas, having fun with it. We have a really good time kind of sharing what we have off the court together onto the court. So it's a lot of fun. And if you guys want to follow us on Instagram at Alex Strong, at Judith Castillo, and Connor Garnett, 